Welcome to the video tutorial for installing the Sun 2012 k to 25 k MB0 series. This tutorial demonstrates how to install the inverter hardware and connect cables. Unpack the inverter and check that the items in the package are complete and intact. Determine an appropriate installation position that can sustain the weight of the inverter and meet the clearance requirements. The inverter can be mounted on a wall or on a support. This video uses support mounting as an example. Mark mounting holes using the marking off template. Secure the mounting bracket using bolts. Two persons lift the inverter and install it properly on the mounting bracket. Tighten screws to secure the inverter. The installation is complete. Before you start, get familiar with the wiring areas of the inverter. Let's start from the inverter. Connect DC power cables to PV modules and the battery. Connect signal cables to the power meter and the battery. Connect the AC power cable to the power distribution box. Before connecting cables, ensure that the DC switch on the inverter and all switches connected to the inverter are off. Prepare a PE cable. Connect the PE cable. Prepare an AC power cable. Route the cable through the waterproof rubber block whose diameter is appropriate. Insert the coil wires into the AC connector and tighten them using a wrench. Assemble the AC connector. Connect the AC power cable to the corresponding port on the inverter. Clip the snap fit and tighten the screw. Select an appropriate AC switch in accordance with local industry standards and regulations. Prepare DC power cables and battery cables. Prepare positive and negative DC power cables in sequence as required. Use the multimeter to measure the voltage and ensure that the polarities are correct. Connect DC power cables. Connect battery cables. Prepare signal cables. Disassemble the signal connector. Route the signal cables through the locking cap and the waterproof rubber plug in sequence. Insert the wires into the corresponding pins of the terminal and secure the wires. Assemble the signal connector. Use waterproof rubber plugs together with waterproof blocks to seal redundant gaps between cables and the connector. Connect to the power meter. Connect to the EMA. One rapid shutdown signal cable port. Four dry contacts for grid scheduling. The battery and the EMA can be connected at the same time. When connecting the power meter and battery, properly crimp the signal cables that share the same port using a crimp terminal and insert the terminal into the corresponding port. Connect the signal cables. Insert the SIM card and check that the snap fits on both sides are secured. Install the smart dongle on the inverter and secure it using the anti-theft components. Power on the system. 